Good morning, it's the 27th of March. Where are we? God, it's a blowy, blowy spot down here, wherever we are. We are down in St. Lawrence, having a quick uh, early morning walk. It's about 7.20 in the morning. Just gonna walk down this way a bit. This is Undercliff Drive, St. Lawrence. Uh, closed a few years ago due to a landslip that took out part of the, part of the road. This is St. Lawrence Undercliff. Woodland owned by the Hampshire and Isle of Wight Wildlife Trust. Great little nature reserve. Kind of non-intervention. They don't do any kind of habitat management as such because it doesn't need it. It's just a little woodland. So it is quite windy, so I think I'm going to have to switch to the microphone. If anyone knows a microphone that will both cut out the wind and pick up the bird song. <laughs> it's a great tit singing. Trouble is when I put my microphone on, one I've got, my little uh, Boyer microphone, it cuts out the bird song because uh, it's kind of just, what is it, directional or something, it's just picking up my voice. It's a buzzard up there. Um, so I want to find a microphone that both cuts out the wind, picks up my voice and picks up the bird song. But anyway, I'm going to switch to the Boyer microphone and uh, we'll see if it does cut out all the bird songs. I think it probably will. Let's see. Right, so we're now using the uh, Boyer microphone. Hopefully it will cut out the wind noise, but um, unfortunately it probably will also cut out the bird noise. So if there's any sound engineers watching this video, <laughs> tell me what I need to do. Uh, what I don't want to do is have a separate unit to pick up all the bird song. I don't want to be car carrying loads of gear around with me. And I have no money, so I can't afford to buy well, anything more at the moment. <sighs> Maybe in the summer, if my book starts to sell. What a cracking morning. So yeah, there's been some recent ground movement down here, unfortunately. Uh, this bit of the, uh, the road is still intact. Can't get much further along here, the road is closed off. But, uh, well, there's a cycleway that goes through, but even that's disintegrating. What a lovely morning. So I just come down here. Oh, there's some, uh, uh, how are these cracks developing? Yeah, they haven't really moved very much in the last week or so. So I've really come down here to see if there's any migrants around, any migrant birds. I haven't heard any yet. I had the first willow warbler a couple of days ago. So willow warblers, uh, basically, they look the same as chiff chaffs. Chiff chaffs come through, start coming through slightly earlier in March, and it's around about now that the willow warblers start to come through as well. They just migrate slightly, slightly later. Obviously, sub Saharan uh, migrants, so they've come from south of the Sahara. Can't hear anything. The first cuckoo will be passing through soon, I guess. Not had a cuckoo for about three years in the Undercliff. They used to be regular every spring. There's the inner cliff face above St. Lawrence, looking up towards High Hat. See the Holm Oaks really spreading along the cliff face now. It's really causing a lot of damage from a wildlife point of view, those Holm Oaks spreading along the cliff. Shading out the chalk grassland, which is really important from a for the wildlife, as goldfinches call them. Again, you probably can't hear the goldfinches, you just hear me jabbering on about nothing in particular. Yeah. Jackdaws, rooks, carrion crows, all calling. Wood pigeon over there. So plans for today, I'm going to be doing some, uh, well I'm looking at online course creations, I want to create a couple of online courses, another little side hustle. Um, <clears throat> I'll do a bit of research on that this morning and uh, more book writing. Need to sort out some issues relating to some ground movement, which uh, is a completely different thing. Yeah, so this bit of, uh, bit of the road is slumping away a bit. There's the sea.
Yeah, you can really see the holm oaks up there spreading along the cliff face. Trouble is, what will eventually start to happen is they'll start to fall off the cliff because uh, it's only chalk, so it's not stable soil that they're rooting into. Um, so as they get bigger on that very exposed slope, they're going to start to collapse and pull bits of cliff down with them. So there's a mixture of green sand and chalk, and the chalk is very soft. Green sand is more solid, but you can see where they're, they're kind of... Basically, the acorns have been planted by jays, I guess, into the very soft, chalky scree. But as they get a lot bigger, they'll become very unstable and they'll just all collapse down the face of the cliff. Anyway, this is section of uh, rhodas is slumping quite a bit now. see actually in the wet winter some of the chalk has uh, tumbled down been quite a lot of movement up there just superficial just the surface of the chalk but you can see how uh, some of the home oaks have kind of collapsed down the cliff face so home oak is obviously a mediterranean species common in the kind of Portugal and Spain, quite a characteristic native species further south, it's not native to the UK. So it was introduced here and the trouble is in the autumn, you get prolific acorn mast on these home oaks and then the jays come through, migrant or dispersing jays, and they stash these home oak ac acorns all over the place in grassland and mainly grassland. Um, and then the whole home oak acorns germinate and that's how it's spreading. So Jay's doing what Jay's do, burying acorns. Uh, it's a real shame the Victorians introduced whole moat here. But another another way of looking at it is that because uh, of climate change, apparently, um, the uh, whole moats are really thriving here. So our climate is basically going to gradually become more like the Mediterranean. And uh, that will favour things like home oak. So, uh, yeah, species of the Mediterranean is colonising a place that is becoming more like the Mediterranean. Because it's warming up. bit concerning to see these splits in this bit of the road. This is where one of the two uh, landslides occurred that basically wrote off this section of Undercliff. Is it Undercliff Drive or Undercliff Road? I never know. I think it's Undercliff Drive. But uh, we've retained this kind of, created this kind of cycleway going through and footpath. Absolutely cracking morning. Carrying crows, carrying nesting material. There's the sea. So we're looking south now. There's a lovely microclimate down here, any northerlies you really don't feel down here, so we're completely sheltered from northerlies. Um, 
The sea is about 300 metres from where I'm walking over there. And uh, you're basically sheltered from any chilly northerlies. You don't often get frost down here. Certainly very rarely get snow and it very, very, very rarely settles. So, yeah. Obviously the sun kind of beating down into this area, it just warms up very quickly. Fabulous little microclimate. So Robin singing. Robin and Blue Tit. And a chiff chaff in the distance. Been drowned out by the Robin. These old ash trees are not looking very happy. Bit of ash die back, I guess. They may spring into life. It's a chiff chaff again. Right, I need coffee, so I'm going to head back into back into Ventnor, I think, in that direction, looking east. Well, it's a bit blowy down here, that's for sure. The sea's got some life in it. It's quite chilly, the breeze as well. Oh, there's a raven. Already asking for breakfast. Sat on the uh, fence there. And here's a jackdaw. Also asking for breakfast. He's happy. That's a female actually, so she's happy. Pretty sure they must have a have a brood at the nest that we at uh, was it Steep Hill Cove is where they're nesting? They must have a must have a brood there now, or a clutch, whatever. No, there's a clutch of eggs, isn't it? They must have a family at the nest that they need to feed. Looking good, almost open. Give it a day or two. What a brilliant job they've done along here. So by Easter, you'll be able to walk up and down for any hell walk again. Vent a cascade. Some uh, rain is on its way from the southwest.
It's 11.40 now and it's uh, quite rough in the harbour. Surprisingly rough. But the rain has now gone through, lasted for about an hour as forecast. Now we're at the uh, far edge of it, it's heading off to the east. Still quite chilly, but the breeze has dropped right off. Certainly the sea is quite lively though. Very choppy. At least we've actually got some beach this year at this end of the beach. Last year, because of all the easterlies, all the shingle was ripped out and there was a big drop between the esplanade and the beach. Lots of debris on the beach, uncovered. But now it's uh, looking good. It really is rough though. So it's now 6.23 p.m. and I've just come back down from football. That was quite entertaining. I managed to get a ball in my face which uh, knocked my glasses off and snapped the um, strappy, whatever it is. What do you call those things that hold glasses onto your head? I don't know. Snapped that anyway, so i um, going to have to do another repair of those. It was it had already snapped previously. Just looking at the uh, old amusement arcade in Ventnor Bay. Gaiety Amusement Arcade. There used to be a cafe on this side where I used to get breakfast. Vegetarian breakfast. I'm not a vegetarian, but I prefer the vegetarian breakfast. Uh, for £3.50. But uh, 
I think the cheapest recce you can get in Ventnor Bay now is probably about eight pounds, maybe more than that. Um, yeah, I used to like this amusement arcade, but uh, uh, yeah, they closed and then there was a mysterious fire and um, now it's all been knocked down and they've got planning permission for a private residence as far as I can understand it. So, not really a space for the community or for visitors. If it's a private residence, I do hope people will actually live in it rather than just have it as a luxury bolt hole. They live in London or something and only come down every one weekend, every two or three years, which happens in a few places down here. Hey ho. Like for instance, the Metropole up there, those, a lot of those flats are empty most of the time. A couple of them are occupied year round, but uh, generally they're not. Anyway, stop moaning, Steve. What a lovely evening. Going to head for the spyglass in a minute, probably, and do a bit more writing. But uh, yeah, we're due to get a bit of a blowy conditions tonight. So it's going to be a bit windswept tonight and tomorrow, if I remember rightly. And check the weather forecast, I think. So it's just after seven o'clock now in the evening. The sun is well and truly set. Uh, don't think I'm going to go to the spyglass after all. The Met is open, that's always an option. I think what I'm going to do is just go and sit in the van and watch, watch a movie on Amazon Prime. I subscribe to it, so I might as well use it. Save some money. <laughs> by not drinking half a razorback in a, a spyglass. Thanks everyone for your comments, by the way. Keep them coming. I do uh, reply to them all as quickly as I can. Sometimes there's a bit of a delay, depending on how uh, busy I am, but uh, I will endeavour to answer all comments, unless they're mean. If they're mean comments, I might hide them, because I want my channel to be as positive as possible. But, um, and do subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and read the description for the videos which are obviously under the under the videos because there's some links there to my website etc so yeah like i say do subscribe to the channel because i'm trying to get up to a thousand and i'm over 900 now subscribers that is and like the video if you like the video there's flea my little car um obviously if you don't like the video then don't like it um, but do send me feedback because I'm always keen to hear your views um, and I hope you enjoy my videos of Ventnor. More to come. Tomorrow there's going to be lovely and stormy. We're going to get quite some, uh, not gales as such, but certainly strong winds and I think the waves will be quite dramatic tomorrow. So uh, let's wait and see. But uh, have a lovely evening people. I'm going to go in the van and uh, watch a video I think and relax a bit. <laughs>